In this video, we're going to review low flow sampling as it compares to traditional purging and sampling. So basically in traditional purging and sampling, you'd remove three to five well volumes of water from the well before collecting a sample. The pros with this method are you get a good sample because you removed a large volume of water. The cons with this method are if the water is contaminated, you need to contain it before you dispose of the water. In the definition of low flow sampling would be pumping the water out of the well at a rate that's less than the rate at which the water comes into the well. You can ensure that this is happening when you're pumping that you don't, you don't draw the water down from the well. The cons with this method are that you need a little bit more equipment, but there's a lot of positives. The positives are it takes a little less time, you have less contaminated water to treat, and you get a good representative sample. So to ensure that you get a representative sample, we, we pump until stabilization. So the difference between traditional purging and sampling in terms of equipment is the addition of the water quality. In the previous videos, we reviewed the pumping with a peristaltic pump, a bladder pump, and an electrical submersible pump. You can use low flow sampling with either of these methods by just adding the water quality meter and the flow cell. What will happen is you'll pump until the parameters stabilize. The parameters will be pH, conductivity, temperature, dissolved oxygen, and ORP. Once these parameters have stabilized, you're able to pull a representative sample from the well. So basically, you'd start your pumping method as we had on the previous methods without the water quality equipment. But by watching the parameters on the screen, once you've removed the water and the parameters have stabilized, you know that it's a representative sample coming from the aquifer, not just the well column. So basically, that's a brief overview on why you'd use water quality instrumentation to get a good quality representative sample versus just removing a large amount of water and having to treat that as waste. Thanks for paying attention to us today on all these videos. We hope it was helpful, and we look forward to working with you in the future. Take care.